Hi, hey, how you doing? If you enjoyed the Scooge podcast and supporting the pod seems like it's worth the money, you can click our anchor.fm page support link. It's that first link in the description box down below and all of our videos. If you make your contribution, you can add your own custom message or question, which we'll read on the show. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Ah, <sighs> well, guys, um, this is going to be a hard episode to make. Uh, Joseph here, he's, he's, he might make it I'm through dying. the episode, I'm not sure. I'm dying. He, uh, his power source, Chipotle, is killing him. He can't function <laughs> well right now. Oh, man. But, <laughs> I actually did have some food poisoning, I ain't gonna lie. From Chipotle? No, not Chipotle. Go it was some ahead. kind of seafood restaurant that oh, I had. Oh, dude, of course it's eating. seafood. Yeah. I See? don't even remember that. It was some, I'm not going to say the city, but yeah, it's a city close to our hometown that we, I don't remember what the daggum name of the place was, but yeah. I, oh, you don't yeah. remember the restaurant? No. Nah. Crystal River, maybe? Yeah, it sounds about right. Sure, why not? How much? How much longer do you think you got? Uh, about this, about the duration of this podcast. So, man, I'll have to find a replacement for episode twenty-two. Uh, you can find the next Don Cheadle. Yep, I'll have to replace you and pretend like nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> and my, and my co-host, Jmash ninety-seven. This is Darius's voice. You can get a mash seventy seven. <laughs> yeah, let's get a mash. That's the that's the replacement. <laughs> yeah, that's the replacement. That's the Don Cheadle. Um, <laughs> because he's darker. Get it? Um. <clears throat> anyway. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode twenty one of the Scooge Podcast. I'm your host, <laughs> Screwy D. Can I get some love in the audience, Joseph? Uh, and I have my lovely co-host, most lovable co-host, Joe Rogan. Of all time. How you feeling? Hey, now, I thought you were talking about me. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, he's on next week. Sorry. JMash97, second, second hey. loveliest co-host. So, what? Well, I mean, damn it. I, I really have to fix my scripts. Uh, that one was for next week. I have Joe Rogan on. Oops. Sure. I mean, I I should just be more nicer since this is your final day, but I quit. What? You quit? But I we quit. Ha we haven't even got to the third Marvel movie. We still have. I don't, like, I don't care. We have twenty more movies to go. <laughs> <laughs> that seems daunting oh, when when you say it out loud. Twenty more movies. Hmm. Now they go by quickly. I hope so because well we'll we'll, we'll get into that um, episode twenty two I guess but anyway we're here to talk about Joseph improvise hell yeah hell yeah. I still got the song on my phone if you want me to play it. No, it's all right. Did you even get copyright for that? No, I did not. I did no. not. Surprisingly, surprisingly. I think I, uh, I talked a good amount over it, so we didn't get in trouble. No, or it wasn't good. loud enough to pick up. Um, we're talking about Iron Man 2, baby. <laughs> and Thor. And but yeah, right now we're talking about Iron Man 2. Totally. Uh, so I I made a shorter synopsis, a more custom one, because Joseph was hammering me about it. Get it? Uh, last episode, so I try to be a good boy this episode. Wait, what was that? The uh, synopsis I, uh -oh. I I made it because you're like criticizing me so hard and I was I having I, I was having a really hard week 
I was just because making an observation. Anyway, <laughs> after Tony Stark announces to the world that he's Iron Man, he faces many problems and in his life. Go. His life source is poisoning him. His, uh, ooh, I almost read the same line. The U.S. government wants his tech and someone's out to kill him. That someone is the wrestler, son of Anton Vanko, who worked with Tony's father, Howard. But Howard then sent Anton to Russia. The wrestler tries to kill Tony Stark at NASCAR. However, Tony's rival, Justin Hammer, helps the wrestler escape from prison and hires him to create suits similar to Tony's. Tony also assigns his assistant, Pepper Potts, as CEO of Stark Industries, and he teams up with Black Tony Stark. It's now up to Tony to defeat Ivan and Hammer and to fix his arc reactor before he can die. Better? Worse? About the same? Well, it was about the same. About the, what, what, I don't what, really what, have a problem the, with it. Uh, I wasn't the criticizing. I, I was just making show. an observation. I quit the show. <laughs> Shows uh, both off. of us quitting. Now I gotta find a replacement. Yep. It's, it's like two different people. <laughs> Not even like ever. I'm just like hire some guys on Fiverr. Can you just, that would be a funny gag, actually. Well, get get, get like, Fizz and Darius to do it. No, like it has to be someone who's never <laughs> been on the scooch. So like just hire some randos on Fiverr. And they do the next episode. Someone who's never been on camera, never been on podcast, never talked about movies, well, never I, seen a I, movie. I, I don't know. That would be funny just like to hire some people, but they have like background just, and narration or whatever. And like, people shit. are like, no, we like these guys better. And they just replace <laughs> us. Hey, if I get a cut, I'm fine. I don't, I don't have to participate. <clears throat> so what did you think about Iron Man 2? Uh, I, I think that, uh, 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 Tony Stark looks like a young Al Pacino. Okay. That's my concluding thoughts on Iron Man 2. D doesn't he, you know, just a smidge of Al Pacino, Robert Downey Jr.? Mm. I could definitely see it. I guess. Thank you. Was it, is it so hard to agree with me? Is it? You've never which, agreed on me. Which, like, what, what era of Al Pacino? Uh, I mean, like, probably. Like Al Pacino now, or like? No, no, no. I said yeah, like a Godfather young, One. I, I said a young Al Pacino, but I would say more like Godfather Part Two. Or uh, what's the other movie called? I'd say probably Scarface. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's actually a really good one because you have like similar haircuts as well. When did Scarface come out? 80... Uh, 84? Let's get to the bottom of this. 84? I know, somewhere in the 80s, I know that. 83. 83. I couldn't remember if it was 3 or 4. I need to rewatch that. Yeah, I'll probably do too. So, Joseph, are you going to see Luca? Is that the Pixar Disney movie? Yeah, it's a Disney Plus original. Yeah, man. Is it, you got to pay for it. <laughs> Wait, we're getting off topic. It's a Disney Plus original. Oh, I, I finished Iron Man too, as I said. Tony Stark looks like Al Pacino. So I take it you didn't really care for it. No, I I, I did actually like it. I, I like okay. it. I like less than Iron Man. I, less than Iron Man one, but I I still enjoyed the movie. <laughs> well, for sure. <clears throat> I mean, I I like the first half where until like up until after the uh, little fight and Stark Tower with between Iron Man and War Machine. With, the, with another one by the dust, that little fight after that, when they got into the Nick Fury and all that, that's when it lost me from that on. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, I will say the ending battle was really. I mean, I sound it's like a broken it. record, but anticlimactic. It was not a good final fight. 
like like the scope of it just because there's like these different drones if you will that belong to justin hammer but um other than i may that, say it's better than i'd say it's better than one iron man yeah slightly better battle. yeah slightly better just because we have that that uh duo of uh, Rhodey and stark as a team but i mean the the stark industries fight was better than the final act battle in my opinion yeah i like that more i i like drunk Tony Stark. Did we mention he's dying? Spoilers in the future. Yes. I mean he's did. he's dying now, but also not in this video, but we did on the yeah, well, I guess I, we did now, I, but yeah. The last video we uh we said it like seven times. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh so a little little hint, <clears throat> a little foreshadowing in Iron Man 2 that uh, I wouldn't starts. really call it foreshadowing. <laughs> it's more it's more foreshadowing to like his to, character yeah, development with his that, father. It's something that happens in Iron Man three than oh. what happens in in game. Mm, I haven't seen Iron Man three, so I'm interested to <sighs> check that out. But that'll be the very next movie Dang we on. watch, so I'm excited for that. Oh yeah, it will be the next. But I'm about to say, yeah, we still got. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, couple I mean, more. we we we've already watched. Yeah, we've already seen. We those, were supposed but... to record this like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, um, do you wanna do you wanna tell that little story or do I? I mean, is there a story behind it? Really? Yeah, yourself? somebody, um, to not name any names, somebody kept uh, putting it off. Oh, rescheduling you're it. talking about GMASH 97. Uh, kiss my... <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, stuff comes up. Can't help it. Sometimes you just don't <laughs> have time to record a podcast about <clears throat> Tony Stark. No, I, I mean, as as much as I wanted to, plans came, but yesterday was like a, a just a lazy excuse. I'm like, uh, it's Sunday, Sunday fun day. Oh, that was the reason for yesterday. Well, I mean, you know, yeah, I'm kosher, so Sunday I can't do it. And on that note. This has been episode 21. <laughs> oh yeah, we have Thor. Okay. I, 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 could, I could tell Joseph's giving me the death star stare right now. I'm not even... I can't see him, but I could just tell. He's he's grinding his teeth right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. Uh, how do you feel about Mickey Rourke as no, I, I really do. I really do quit. Okay. What? I could do the show without you. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Goodbye. You did not just do that crap. Bye, Felicia. Okay, whatever. Uh, how did how did you feel about Ivan? I, I don't like him. It's... Mm -hmm. I did too. I liked him in the first half. The, you know, was, once, he, once he got into Nick Fury stuff... Wait, wait, can you can you pinpoint really exactly what you mean by the near, Nick's Fury stuff? Like That's when it got to the real world building. Was every time he was on screen. Mm-hmm. Like the donut shop. I felt like I felt like they could have done this movie and not had Nick Fury show up at all. Maybe one scene at the diner. Well, I mean he had to be there for the 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 arc of Black Tony and his father. I feel mm. like, you know, Nick Fury had to tell him that. And also kind of tie in with Maybe. Natasha and uh, Agent Coulson because... Natasha, Phil Coulson, he was in the first one, so it's not that big of a surprise. Natasha, Black Widow, she she was... Uh, I, I liked her inclusion more than I did Nick Fury. Mm -hmm. And Nick uh, Fury not... is a character... 
I'm not disagreeing with you, but keep in mind, right after this movie is Thor and then the Avengers, so they had to sort of like okay. start that world building. I mean, if they had this planned out pretty far ahead. Which I, I mean, you had Captain America First Avenger also between... Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I forgot that movie existed. I mean... But oh, so you didn't fair. really care for Captain America the First Avenger? We'll get into that when we get into that, okay? Wow. Captain okay. America's not in this this discussion. <laughs> so uh, next next episode is gonna be very interesting little debate <laughs> on both movies. Yup. I agree. I do agree. Okay, so now I really do know you didn't really care for Captain America First Avenger now. You don't know that. Wow. You don't know that. How do you know that? Okay. What context clues are you gathering to come to this conclusion? Just the, just the vibe I'm getting from. What's you. the vibe? I'm I'm all chill. I'm all happy, man. You need to take a chill pill. Maybe you're the one that is Ow. in denial and doesn't really like Captain America: The First Avenger. It came out 2011, directed by I don't know who it's directed by. About to show you. I know about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, I can I know his daggum name, but I can't. It's not. Uh... Oh, you talking about Red Skull? <sighs> Shoot, Schmidt? No, the director. Oh, John Favreau. <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't John. I know. John I know. I know was. <laughs> so freaking. Joe Johnston. Martin Scorsese. Yeah, it was Martin Scorsese. That would Marty be so Scorsese. weird. I don't even know what what superhero I believe him and him to direct. Well, he doesn't even like the whole... He doesn't whole... like superhero, superhero movies. That's, yeah. what I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I feel like he could do a Batman or something. Mm. Something a little more dark and crime-ridden. Mm-hmm. Or like, I could even see him doing like a Iron Man reboot. No, I'd, I'd rather him do Batman than Iron Man. Fair enough. I don't, I don't, I don't think that Iron Man fits his style at all. You, you can't see Leonardo DiCaprio as Iron Man. No, but I know he was supposed to be Spider Man at one point. Really? You. Yeah. No offense, Leo, but you. It it was yeah, when uh, Tobey Maguire. Wow. It was like him, <clears throat> Toby. Uh, I want to say Jake Gyllenhaal. That's the only thing I know I can think of. Well, Jake Gyllenhaal makes sense because he does resemble have some semblance with Tobey Maguire still I would, I would have been interested in all three or all two both of them well I mean at least Jake John Hall finally got into a Spider-Man film if he's been wanting to I don't know if he has but I don't know if he wanted to but it was like he was up for it mm. like I don't know if he was absolutely craving to not craving oh, the he's, hunter. Oh, nope, he nope, he craves uh, it. It's craving. A, it's like in every, in every interview, he's like Spider Man. He do, he just doesn't seem like that kind of guy to want to be in those big blockbusters. Yeah, posters. yeah, Jake. Yeah, Jake seems like a humble dude. I mm. I like him as an actor. Mm. You I got like, Rod from Nightcrawler. Mm, yeah. Yeah, well, that's another day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I mean, we getting really off topic in this video. Just before, Sheesh. just before we continue, I just want to say, uh, let's continue. Wow, great segue. Thank you. <laughs> Iron uh, Man, too, everybody. Yeah. It this was, Iron Man two. It was fine. It, I didn't hate it this time around as much as I 
remember not really caring for it uh, however long ago I did that dang I'm ranking the MCU movies I don't remember uh yeah, people, the general public is yeah. usually kind of displeased with this movie. But I always, I always mm. liked it, but I did have some negative feelings towards it always. But this time around watching it, I, I could just like, I, I just enjoyed the film. Like, I, I saw some flaws, of course, but I still th thoroughly enjoyed it and was never really bored at any point. I gotta say, I wouldn't really call it a bad movie, but yeah, I, I mean, a lot of people either. would a lot of people would debate with you on that one because like Iron Man two, boo, one of the worst. I've I've already stated there's only one. I've already told you what the one movie I think is the only bad movie mar the MCU has given us. You said two, and no, no, you said two. No, you did. Someone please write in the comments. Chester I don't remember two. me saying. He said two, and I think they were Black Panther and Captain Marvel. Okay, and now I know you're foolish. No, I'm not. You said that. No, I did not. So I never please... said Black Panther was a bad movie. Yes, you did. I said it was overrated, but it's not bad. You you gave two examples of like two actually bad Marvel movies, and it was Captain America, or not Captain America, Captain Marvel, and. Black Panther. It was Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is the only bad movie I, that Marvel MCU has given us. All right. Well, someone, if if you care, write in the comments which one is right. Which which host? Which host I'm has the most? Well, I'm, I have never said Black Panther was a bad movie. Which it's host overrated, has the most? And which host bad. is toast? Okay, okay, little miss, little Mister Sporty Pants. If I'm, I think Black Panther what? is bad, so why did I rate it? Why did I rank it like number fourteen? That that was past Joseph. He's he's come to his senses since then. Oh, please! Was, if one of us had said it's a bad movie. That was fourteen-year-old Joseph. Fourteen-year-old. It was like a less than a year ago. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, when you did a ranking video. Yes, when okay. I did the rank of it, the movie only came out like <laughs> three years ago. Twelve-year-old, twelve-year-old Joseph, I remember. Now he, you're going even younger. He wrote a very, very, very positive review of Black Panther. I think we had like a debate yeah, about it. Before it even came out, did you? What? Did you write a review before it came out? No. A lot of people did. Uh, I only, Black Panther wasn't even annou officially announced when I was when we were twelve. Could have been. It wasn't. <laughs> well, I remember you wrote a very positive review on Instagram, and we had a debate for like two hours. Cause it didn't get announced until our like senior, junior. Joseph, senior of year course of high I'm kidding. I know you're kidding. Then why are you trying to fact check me? I don't know. It's a habit. I'm just saying. We love you. We just want you to get some help. I'm, I'm gonna get some help for you. you. You talking about Jesus, right? Yeah, you need him. I'll introduce you to him. Ah, boy, here we go again. <laughs> Down this rabbit hole again. So what are we talking about next? Uh, well, we haven't gave our rating on Iron Man two. Jeez. I mean, uh, I guess you want me to go first. Uh, sure. I'll give it a go. Uh, this was an enjoyable film. It <laughs> uh, there was oh, some. You go first. Yeah, there was some character uh, development I liked with Tony Stark. Um. The whole revelation with his father, although I thought it was kind of cheesy when he played back the tape and was like, "Oh, I'm I'm talking to you now, Tony." This was orchestrated perfectly, and uh, you know, it it just felt like a link between Iron Man and the Avengers Initiative, or whatever it's called. Um, 
I like Don Cheadle more as Rhodey. The Ivan villain slash Hammer villain was much better than Obadiah. And on a lot of a lot of fronts, it did better than Iron Man, but on a, also on another a lot of factors it did worse. Um, but tonally they're the same. It's like a a feel good movie to me. I, I enjoyed it a lot, but I'm gonna lower it slightly more than Iron Man and give it a seven out of ten. Hmm. Yeah, I mean I, I really enjoyed the first half of this movie. Uh from the story of the blood toxicity to the government trying to take away Tony's tech to use for military and there's a it's called cast. Iron Man not Iron Army douchebag Sheesh. um or men it's kind of hard to really talk about that little scene without giving a little spoiler for the future which one um with a courtroom because mm. there's a very particular character <clears throat> try to keep it as vague as possible there's a particular character in that courtroom that comes back later and is revealed to be a not a good guy I see I'll just leave it at that um, I think I know what you're talking about. But, uh, enjoy the first half. It lost me with the second half. With the, it was about the time Nick Fury showed up. <clears throat> and I got a lot of problems with Nick Fury as a character. Uh, wait, wait, wait. For what, the most part. What gripes do you have with Nick Fury? There, there's stuff in the, like, not at this point in time in the franchise, but when, when we get further into the franchise i know but you you seem to have problems with this character and particularly with this film not in this film no okay it just seemed like it. it, it in this film it just for the most part it, it could it could have been again this is another complaint i have the only time spoiler alert the only time I really liked Nick Fury in one of these movies was the Avengers. And I, in this movie, it just felt uh, not really unnecessary, like kind of unnecessary, but I get what you were saying earlier. It, it I, I don't know. It had to start the world building. I guess, uh, but I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'd I'd like it a lot more if this was more of its own movie. It has a little bit yeah. of an identity crisis. I feel. I guess it's just part of my criticisms to Nick Fury as a character that I have for another movie. We'll <clears throat> talk about when we get to it. Just Captain Marvel comes back. No, not Captain Marvel. Okay. Uh, well, although... Um, <laughs> I already know the plot point, but I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just... Uh, it's kind of hard to talk about it right now, because I don't want to spoil anything for you, because I know you haven't seen this particular movie. Right, we can move on, then. Uh, Moving on. Yeah, Iron Man 2, I was going to give it the same first half. I'd give it about 75, second half, 65, meet in the middle, 70%. Same as Noah. I, I think this is the... Is this... No. Okay, never mind. I'll hold my tongue. I was glad to say well, this the first is the first time we time. agreed the same, yeah. gave the same score. Yeah, but I think we rated Joker the same. There might uh, be one more movie. I don't remember. We both gave it a perfect score. Yeah, I know that one. But I don't know if there's like any others. Oh. Um. 
yeah, I think this is the first time we, you know, settle our differences. Yeah, for for once. Until we talk about Thor right now. Black, white, there's not much of a difference. Yeah, so you want to give your synopsis about Thor? Uh, oh, you want? Uh, sure, you can. Yeah, I can. Oh, I thought you said, "Do you want me to give you a synopsis about Thor?" See, it's funny. I I asked you if I if you wanted me to give the score first for Iron Man two, and then you and then you started giving your score, and I was like, "Okay." Now you think, I, no? I said, "Do you want to give your oh. synopsis for it?" <laughs> you know it, baby. As a son of Odin, king of the Norse gods, Thor will soon inherit the throne of Asgard from his aging father, Hannibal Lecter. However, on the day that he is used to be crowned, Thor reacts with Are brutality. You got jokes in your synopsis now? Well, I mean, you said you want them to be a little more original. Well, okay, yeah, that's, that's fair. Thor reacts with brutality when the gods' enemies, the Frost Giants, enter the palace in violation of their treaty from Game of Thrones. As, punish, as punishment, Odin banishes yeah, Thor to that Earth. Was stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> while, yeah, Loki, was stupid. while Loki, <laughs> from you know the Loki television series with Owen Wilson. Okay, stop. Just Thor's stop. brother plots mischief in Asgard. <laughs> Thor, now stripped of his powers and his clothes, <clears throat> faces his greatest threat. Padme on my dollar. Mm-hmm. That's not funny, Joseph. Oh, and the Game of Thrones and the Loki TV show was? (laughs) (laughs) The Hannibal Lecter was a good one. I'll give you that one, but the other two, they... they, (laughs) uh Wait, wait, wait. They're they're all equally as cheesy. What's what's better with the Hannibal Lecter and then the Frost Giants from Game of Thrones? Because it's funny funny when you think about that Odin, the the supposedly, like, most... One of the most powerful gods in the world... Mm -hmm. He's a cannibal. But argu- arguably the most powerful cannibal in the world. <laughs> Dear Lord. I, I, I mean, gosh, you're, you're busting my balls here. I thought the Loki thing was funny. I mean, it wasn't really, I wouldn't really say it was funny, but it was more <laughs> as, I don't know. It was better than the Game of Thrones. Wait, the wait, Game of Thrones are, are you are you saying are you saying the Loki one is clever? It was more clever than the Game of Thrones one. Cl- How? Okay, let's move on. Like what? What? What does what does Game of Thrones have to do with it? Well, remember like, the, the 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 like the isn't the main villains like those ice creatures? Yeah, but they don't look anything like the same. Yes, they do. Hold on, let me look uh, up a picture. What do I call them? Frosties? They do and, look the same. Fr- Dude, they look the exactly uh, the same. What are you talking about? They look exact. A, the Frost no. Giants are a lot darker with red eyes, with white walkers. Uh, just a lot brighter and. I don't know. I'm gonna put a side by side comparison on screen and the audience can decide. Look at this. Look at this, Joseph. Besides yep, the I eye totally color, besides the eye color, look at this picture and tell me they're not similar. Slight color difference. Look about the same. My joke is valid. Yay or nay? Sure. Okay, here we go. When you pick that daggum, the Night King, sure. Anyway, uh... This movie sucks. So you didn't like this movie? I will tell you something in the next episode. But... Overall, I thought this was a bad movie. Not saying there aren't parts that I enjoyed. There are aspects I did enjoy. 
But just the film overall, I thought, was pretty stinky. Wow. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it totally bad. Just average. I mean, I liked the Asgard stuff. And yeah, yeah, the Asgard the setting. Giants, yeah, this... Dealing with, like, the mythical stuff I enjoyed. When it got to... Was it New Mexico or whatever? Yeah, that small town. That's about the time it lost me. What? Wait, that's like 20 minutes into the movie. I I mean, I like the real world elements or whatever. For the most, for the most part. Mm-hmm. The Cat Denning stuff, I've never been a fan of. Natalie Portman. I don't know what it is. I For the most part, not that interested in that romance between her and oh yeah thor. it's 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 not even romance it's totally just uh, lust after thor after uh chris hemsworth it's like yeah, it's there's no freaking... chemi- there's no chemistry there it's like oh he's hot so i guess i'm in love with him and i miss him even mm-hmm. though i've hung out with him for two days stellan Scar- scars guard he had his moment he had his moments what character did he play which uh, I can't even think of the the character's name, but the doctor, the old, the like the old the older uh, guy. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, I thought what you was said his character's name. I thought you said Bill Skarsgård. No, Stellan Skarsgård. I was st- if I had said Bill, I uh, I missed both. I didn't know he had play it, it back. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a whole family. There's a, there's Stellan is the father, I believe. Then there's he had. I'm I mean, sure I... he had more than two sons, but I know he had two sons: Bill Skarsgård, who played Pennywise in the It right, movies, right? And uh, what is it, Peter Skarsgård? Uh, I think so. Who is uh, Hector Hammond and the Green Lantern? I thought I thought his character was fine. I didn't see anything. He was fine. Was better than Natalie Portman. He was he was better in here than he was in well, that's, that's a video for another day. That's a video <laughs> for another day. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> spoiler alert for that little <laughs> video. Yeah, a little tie in. Um But Loki one of, if not the best villain of the MCU, for sure. Tom Hiddleston, fantastic. Yeah, I liked Loki in this film. Um, <clears throat> I thought the character switch flip, whatever, was a little forced, but I felt it as was. a villain, he was more nuanced because there were still... You could still see like some morality in his character, but like, what do you what do you mean? Like, just because he found out he was a frost giant, been lied to, he just kind of like changed his personality than how he was in the first half. But I'm pretty sure that was his plan. Like all along was to. Well, I don't think we said it at the beginning, but spoiler alert for these two movies, obviously, his whole plan was to basically get his father's approval and how he did that was basically lure the frost giant uh freaking I know they said his daggone name but I can't think of what the the Idris Elba character no like the frost giant oh sorry leader oh okay yeah sure Freak, I, I know they said his name like once or twice maybe uh, but uh, lure him and the rest of the frost giants and then kill them all once you know <laughs> he was close to killing them yeah I mean I, I cause just all, cause Loki I thought, I thought the character switch was too drastic it was like a 180 in like seconds mm-hmm. I'm I'm fine with it because there was like some nuance with him being a villain, 
Uh, aside from him and Avengers, we'll get into that later. Which like, Avengers is really the only time he's a true villain. Yeah, he's like full on villain in that one. Um, but yeah, I, I liked him in this movie. I even liked Thor more than I thought I did in this movie. Yeah. He was probably like, the uh, best part of it. The only the m- most of the stuff I liked <clears throat> as far as the on Earth stuff was the stuff dealing with was the joke about slamming the cup down. I right. still it still makes me laugh. Still makes the you uh, chuckle. walk into a yeah still pet, makes walk into the like pet the store. Walk into the pet store and ask for the like the horse. Uh, horse? What movie did you watch? Or one of those one pet that's big enough to ride or something like that. Yeah, yeah, a dog that's uh, big enough to ride. <laughs> Could you imagine, like a Great Dane or something? Doors on the. I got, I got it mixed up. Uh. <clears throat> There's that. I'm trying to remember because it's been a a little bit since I've seen the movie. Uh, I thought the, we were supposed to do this about a week ago. <laughs> fighting my time. Go ahead because I'm trying to remember what the. Oh, this where This is the one time I don't write my freaking notes down. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I thought the whole tone of the film was very melodramatic. I I felt at at times like soap operas. Okay, I can like, see that. Like the whole romance was sensationalized, the whole Betrayal things were exaggerated with Loki and Thor and all that. It's just very melodramatic at times. That would that would I would probably say that's my main issue because like the some of the character motivations make sense and the pacing was good and I even liked the final act. Although I know Joseph has problems with the movie with it being in that little town in New Mexico, but I like that stuff, and I like the stuff in Asgard too. I think the special effects still hold up very well. I and the whole I conflict don't mind, in Asgard. I don't mind him going to New Mexico and being in our world and all of this and that. It's the the stuff with Cat Dennings, like I said, and the scenes between Natalie Portman and Chris Hemsworth. Just all of that makes the New Mexico stuff. Uh, I guess feel longer than what it is. Because mm. the stuff when dealing with the shield, trying to him lift, trying to lift the hammer, but failing with Hawkeye's entrance and all this and that. Mm. I like that. I like the little final battle when Thor. Uh, regained his powers. Mm-hmm. Um, like I, I didn't hate the New Mexico s- stuff as a whole. It's just those particular moments. Just I don't I don't know. Just made it made made it feel like it was taking forever to get somewhere. Uh, I didn't see any issue with it, personally. Uh, and on another note, I just wanted to add that I could have easily picked up the hammer. But oh, no, you couldn't. Shut up. Yeah, I could. You ain't worthy. You don't know. Spoiler alert. Hulk can't pick up the hammer. Iron Man can't pick up the hammer. Captain America, wait. I was literally about to make that joke after you <laughs> said somebody else. <laughs> Black Widow can't pick up the hammer because she's a female. 
All right. <laughs> but you know who can pick up the hammer? Jane Foster. Happy. Jeez. Oh wait, what else did I write down about Thor? I think there's a little more I wanted to say. I actually, I think I... Yeah. I said everything I wanted to without even looking at my notes. But it's all here. <laughs> like I said, I... I didn't think it was a bad film. But... I mean, you, you heard my issues I had with it. And I, I think that like brought it down significantly to an average film. So I'm going to go ahead and say my score, 5 out of 10, straight down the middle. It's a fine movie. I I still say I liked it. I didn't hate it. Um, just some very glaring flaws that I saw that I didn't see with the uh, past Marvel movies we have since reviewed. I'll say this as a tagline. Thor was not a bore. Thor did not make me snore. Uh, I give Thor yeah, a four. I mean, that... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, good. Dear Lord. Now I give it a five out of ten. Uh, yeah, I'd go a little bit higher. Um, of course he would. I do like this movie. Uh, I don't like it if if I like. I don't have no problem with rewatching and all this and that because I'm, I'm not even gonna keep. I'm not even gonna keep saying that because I've said it. I don't know how many daggum times. It, it introduces a lot of pivotal plot points that are gonna be introduced in the future movies. Yeah, that also. Um, and I feel like it handled it better Kenneth, than Iron Man 2, even. Yeah. I think Kenneth Branagh did a great job with the look of Asgard and yeah. all that kind of stuff. It, Chris Hemsworth, uh, Tom Hiddleston, Anthony Hopkins. I just, uh, here's the thing. Idris Elba didn't really do all that much. Say so. Idris Elba. He he was he was good. The just Art for ratings. Say no, just so. Idris Elba was great. <laughs> the little stuff that he was a part of. Just just uh, read your just read your cue cards, okay? Just stick to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look at him. I put him down. I am Thor. Oh, I am worthy. <laughs> Daggummit, I missed that perfect joke too. Daggummit. You wanna start over? Uh, yeah, pick up the cue cards, put them down, look in the camera. I am worthy. J Mash, blink twice if you're being held hostage. Blinks once. Blinks once in a one and a half. <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> Yeah, I, bl I blink for I blink both eyes once, and then I wink. Exactly, that's one half. Uh, how's that <laughs> Chipotle feeling? Are you are you still good? Oh no, I'm never good. Uh, did you want to? Where I was going with that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to get into your score, or <laughs> what are we doing? Score. Here? Uh, Because I'm, 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 because I'm thinking about this one. <clears throat> so I had written down 65, but it just feels a little low for me. Uh, I think because with totally the Asgard fair, stuff, man. I really, because the Asgard stuff, I really did enjoy. <sighs> I probably should have rewatched it <laughs> before doing this. You did rewatch. I had rewatched it like a week here? ago. I had I had watched it about a week ago when I thought we were gonna do this episode. Okay. Oh, you know, okay. So Let's it's not exactly it. fresh on my it's fresh mind. on my mind. I mean, 
How can you forget? I just saw it the other day. I watched it Wednesday night. I, I'll say this: he he probably did more here than he did in the rest of the franchise. Who? No fault to him. Is eat yourself a time doll? Yeah, yeah. No fault to him. It just the character just didn't. Well, that's going in the future movies. Anyways. So, Joseph, are you rating it higher than 65 because of Idris Elba? Stick to the cue cards. I am worthy. That's right. I'll give, I'll give it a 65%. I don't think I've ever heard Joseph rate a, 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 a Marvel film that low. I'll just wait till we get to that one movie I told you about. Yeah, I know. But I remember in your ranking video from yeah, was, worst to best Iron Man too. from worst to best it was Thor The Dark World so it was I guess we'll get to that when we get there. I remember this you conversation. No, 70%. 70%. Seven, seven okay, seven, okay, both seven, 7 out of 10. Alright. Cool. Anything else? Yeah, Frost Johnson and White Walkers aren't the same thing. Yes, they are. Mash out. Nope. Got to tell the next movie, you, you dingus. <laughs> Don't know what to watch. Until you sent that picture side by side, I never even really thought about that. I'll be completely honest. Now the Game of Thrones joke is really funny. Right? You got me convinced it was funnier than the Loki joke. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know how you found any merit in the Loki joke. <laughs> I didn't. You liked it more. Okay. Okay. Um. Because I. I honest. Honestly, when you said the Game of Thrones part, I honestly kind of zoned out. So I thought you were talking about like the politics between the Frost Giants and the uh, Asgardians. I didn't hear the part where you compare the Frost Giants to the White Walkers. Wait. You zoned out, so eighty A D D ninety seven. I gotta come up with a better name. Oh dear lord, what have I done? J D H D. Yeah, that's a good one. Probably probably end it right there. J D H D ninety seven. All right, I'm stopping recording. No, don't stop. We gotta tell. Hey, what what we, do we gotta do? We gotta tell our dumb audience the next two movies so they know. Oh dear lord. We hate our audience. No, I'm we love you very much. We just want you guys. Now to... you wonder why you got 21 subscribers on this channel. <laughs> because of JDHD. It's infecting us all. <laughs> sure. Uh, next, next two movies we're going to cover are Captain America and The Avengers. Thank you for Which watching. Captain America? Huh? Which Captain America? The first Avenger. There you go. <laughs> the first movie. That would be the awesome subtitle, the first movie. Uh, this has been episode 21. We'll see you next time. Mash out. Mash out. Hey, that's my line. And it's mine now, baby.